Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Clary Slim. Today I'm gonna go through plant system with you for the P3 signs, right? Okay, so plant system very simple. We are we learned body system in the previous video. So now we're gonna do plant system. So what is a system? A system is made of several parts that work together to perform a job, right? That's what we learn in body system as well. Many, many different organs all can come together to perform the function of our human body. So a plant or an animal is made out of several smaller systems working together to enable it to live just like humans. A plant is a system made out of different parts such as leaves, stem and roots, okay? That's all we need to know for P3 signs, right? And you need to know that each function, each part's function. So each part carries out its own functions and the different parts work together to enable the plant to grow well. So what are the different parts over here that we learned? Leaves, stem and roots. So what does the leaf do? The leaf makes food for the plant in a process called photosynthesis. You will need to learn how to spell this as in four p h o this is four and then we have to t o and then we have sin s y n and the the sin the okay and then sis so break up the word into five different syllables photosynthesis and you will find it easy to spell if it's one whole chunk it is quite difficult a lot of children don't know how to spell this so it's important that you know how to spell this word okay photosynthesis spell it out okay and um, we go on to the stem what does the stem do so the stem supports the leaves and helps them to reach for sunlight so instead of growing together all the leaves covering up each other they will want to spread out as much as possible so that they can get as as much sunlight as possible to make enough food for the plant to excel so what other things is inside the, the stem the stem actually has water carrying tube and food carrying tube and what do they do? Water carrying tube, okay, they carry water and mineral source from the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plant, right? Um, what does the food carrying tube do? Okay, so where do the food come from? The food comes from the leaves, right? The leaves are the ones who make the food. And what happens after they have made the food? They will bring the food from the food carrying tube all the way to the rest of the plant so that they all can survive. The entire plant will be healthy and survive well. That's what the food carrying tube is for. So you can imagine a human system has got a circulatory system all around, carries blood, carries oxygen. The blood carries the oxygen and the carbon dioxide out of the body okay oxygen around the body when it's used carries the carbon dioxide out and then there is a heart but in plants they don't need a heart they took that out so all they need is this tubes food carrying tube water carrying tube very similar to the blood veins that we have the blood vessels that we have in our human system in our circulatory system right so the the, the plants they don't have a heart but they also have the circulatory system made out of water carrying tube food carrying tube okay and what does the roots do the roots hold the plant firmly to the ground so that they don't topple so that they can absorb water and mineral salts from the soil okay so these are the functions of these three parts all you need to know is these three parts for p3 signs and you will be able to go on answering questions in section b so remember these keywords now let's go on to section b let's take a look at some example questions the flowchart below describes the functions of different plant parts. At the start, does it absorb water? No. Okay, what are the plant parts that does not absorb water? The only plant part that absorbs water is the root, correct? So the only one that absorbs root is A. What about those that does not absorb root? Uh, does not absorb water it will be the leaf and the stem correct so does it support the plant if it's yes obviously it is the stem if it's no it has to be the leaf the leaf does not support the stem so just to double confirm it, it transports water and food to all parts of the plant yes that is the stem so therefore what is the answer for a b and c it will be a is roots b is leaves and c is stem okay accordingly and the diagram below shows a plant, another question. So you see they like to have you identify the plant parts. It's quite simple for P3. So Q is the leaf and the R is the roots over there. As long as they are pointing something inside, they wouldn't be asking you what's in the soil, isn't it? Okay. So this is the two answers. That's it. Very simple for one mark. The plant died when all of its parts, Q and R, the leaf and the roots are removed. So when they are removed, what happens? 
what happens is give two reasons to explain why the plant died very simple what does the leaf do the leaf makes food without food we die isn't it it's the same for the plants and what does the root do the root absorbs water so that the plant has water for its sustenance right so without q part q the plant cannot make food so this is the keyword cannot make food this is what you learned in uh, this topic so cannot make food making food leaves is meant to make food therefore cannot make food becomes a keyword and without part r part r which is the root the plant cannot absorb mineral salt and water so this is another keyword that you learn you know that roots are meant to absorb mineral salt and water so this becomes a keyword in your answer without this two you will not get your full marks of two marks okay so remember everything that you learn in science concept it should happen it should ha it, it should appear in your answer if it's not there you will not get your marks so concept key concepts very very important Next question, Caesar set up the experiment below, everything must be the same, flowers, flowers, layer of oil, layer of oil, both sides has to prevent water loss. So usually they want to put a layer of oil in uh, experiments that involve water to prevent evaporation. If you want to know what evaporation is, refer to my P4 water topic. Okay, it's in one of the YouTube videos, take a look. He added a few drops of blue colouring into each uh, bigger there's blue coloring here there's blue coloring here very very common experiment that you can do at home even in school they will have this in their workbook textbook test papers you will usually ask they will say we put color inside what will happen to the flowers the flowers will turn into the color you have added it's always the same answer why is that so so that is the question after one day what would Caesar notice about the flowers and the leaves of the plant in setup a so you see both has got the color so by right both should change color in the leaves and on the in the flowers isn't it but that did not happen so what is the difference between a and b a has roots b did not so what are they trying to test you they're trying to test you the um whether you know the fact that roots are the ones that absorbs water and mineral salts from the water uh, from wherever they are right so it from the soil in this case uh, in this case will be water okay so what will season notice about the flowers and the leaves of the plant they will turn blue right that's all they will turn blue because this one has roots that absorbs so how would you explain your answer because it has roots right so but it is a two marks question so how do you explain so you have to go on and say what does the root do right so what do the roots do it has roots to absorb the blue water so that's what the roots do and the stem transports the water to the flowers and the leaves okay so the roots absorb the water that's what it does correct and then how did the flowers and the leaves turn blue because it is transported through the stem if you really want to elaborate some more just to be sure you can say the water carrying tube carried the blue water through the stem to the flowers and the leaves thus turning them blue that will be a little bit more long-winded but that can guarantee you you surely get the two marks because that's exactly what you learned isn't it otherwise the key will be absorb okay so the roots absorb the water that's one okay and then the stem transports the water that's another one mark over there right that's the keywords scissor happened observed that the plant in setup B began to wilt after one day. So what happened? So you notice that, okay, um, B, setup B, did not have roots. So when there's no roots, roots are very important, right? Because if there is no roots, it cannot absorb water and therefore it will wither, right? Plants need water as much as humans do. So it does not have any roots to absorb water and mineral salt. Therefore, the plant cannot survive. So you will need to say that it is the roots that cannot absorb water and mineral so you need to memorize this roots absorb water and mineral it has to be in your answer right that is the keyword next question label the parts okay common question as well they like to ask you to label so this is some common knowledge that you need to have so what is this over here this is part three uh, part two what is this over here what is this is pointing to nothing on the leaf right so what do you call the leaf what do you call this stock over here? And what do you call these, like a vessel kind of thing? Okay, what do you call them? They actually have names for it and they are called, this is the leaf blade. The whole thing is called a blade of leaf, a blade of grass, a blade of, okay, so this is a leaf blade. 
So this one, the hard one that's coming out is not a branch, okay? It's a stalk. So it's not a stem as well, it's a leaf stalk. And this coming out, these veins, they look like blood vessels, they are leaf veins, okay? So these are the parts that you need to know, you need to recognize in the leaf. Plants spread out their leaves, just now I was explaining, in all directions instead of stacking them up in a pile like this. So why do they do that? Explain how the spreading of leaves helps plants grow better. So why do they do that? Because so that the leaves can get more sunlight, okay? So the key word over here will be to get more sunlight to make food. So what are you tested over here? You have tested the fact that plants or leaves need the sunlight to make food. That is the concept that you're being taught over here. Plants, leaves need sunlight to make food for the plant, right, in order to survive. That is a concept we are being tested. Okay, some experiment over here. Very common way of asking questions as well. They show you a graph and then they ask you from the results, what can you conclude, right? So what is this experiment about? Z conducted an experiment to find out if X substance X affects the growth of plants. He used two similar plants. Only one variable is changed. One is the variable that is changed. Pot A has got substance X. Pot B doesn't. Okay, and both is placed in the same place in a field for four days. So he recorded the change in the height. Okay, so you notice the blank one is pot A, the one with polka dots is part B, and they grow at the same rate exactly. I think this doesn't exist in real life, but in experiment, in the question, okay, it does. It exists in the real life uh, because two different plants will usually not have the same, exact same, because over here is like exactly the same height. From the results above, what can Z conclude about substance X, okay? So very simple, it does not affect the growth of plants. Whether there is substance X or not, there is no difference. Therefore, substance X does not affect, right? Sometimes they will ask you, it seems tricky, it's like, oh, what are you trying to ask me? It looks exactly the same, well, I don't know the answer. Don't worry, it's okay, no change, no effect, no differences. It's okay, just say, there's no difference. That's all, right? It does not affect the growth of plants, right? So you need to say it does not affect the growth of plants. You cannot just say no change and you expect points. You do not expect points from no change, two words, no. Because the experiment is asking for whether it affects the growth of plants. So you need to use that as the answer. It does not affect the growth of plants. That's what the experiment aims to achieve, to find the effect on plants. So you use that as a keyword in the answer. Which part of the plant took in substance X for the plant in, uh, which part of the plant, okay? So which part of the plant took in substance X for the plant in pot A? Which part of the plant, okay? So this one is substance X is given water, right? Given water mixed with substance X. So water, which part of the plant absorbs water? The roots, right? That's all. So I explain why the plants will die if they are placed in a dark room. So this one has nothing to do with substance X anymore. This is your prior knowledge. There is no sunlight in the dark room. If there's no sunlight in the dark room, there will be no food that's made for the plant. Therefore, it cannot survive. So these are the keywords. Dark room, no sunlight. When there's no sunlight, no food. Therefore, they cannot survive. So that's the keyword, okay? The food is the keyword. The no sunlight is the keyword. Right, that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click notify so that you get all the new videos that is coming up. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.